camera angles can be set up and defined inside of Alias so that every time you import your data into VRED, you'll have the same perspectives and angles to complete your renderings from. Let's jump into Alias. So inside of Alias, you can define your views by using the bookmark tab, which now is called variants. When I hit add, it will create a viewpoint that I can refer back to. So if I click and hold and pull down, it'll jump back to that view that I set. This window appears when you hold down Shift and Alt. To make sure that my camera is set correctly, in the upper right, next to the Show button, there is a menu for setting the dimensions of your view. So let's switch to 1920 by 1080. You'll see that my camera window shrunk. That's because it adjusted the ratio of the window to fit 1920 by 1080. So if I hit my hotkey for that, for my perspective camera again, it maximizes the window, but you'll see that it does not fill the interface. It keeps the ratio. This way, if I set my view, I'll know that my vehicle is safe inside of my window. If I want to increase or decrease the amount of perspective in my rendering, go up to Window, Editors, Cameras. In the Camera Editor, if you open up the Lens Property tab, I can adjust my angle of view. So now as I cycle between these, I can set up all my camera angles. Once I have a view that I like, to export this out of Alias, File, Export, Current Window, Options. This will create a nice screenshot of this view. I'm going to switch it to PNG with alpha, so the gray will all become transparent. I'm also going to specify the image size, and I'm going to type in 1920 by 1080. I'm also going to enable the anti-alias to make sure that my all my lines are nice and smooth. Once I've set these settings, I'm going to hit go. Give it a new name. Hit save. Now let's take this file with my cameras and my variants into VRED. Now that we're in VRED, press the import button. Select your vehicle. Press open. When the import window opens up, don't immediately hit import. You do need to select two options. The first is import cameras, and then import the variants of those cameras we made. That is, that this will bring in the viewpoints. Now that the data is imported into VRED, let's start by opening up the camera editor. When I open up the camera editor, you'll see that I now have the camera that imported from Alias. We actually see it in the window here. If I double click on it, it switches to that the last perspective that we had. If I open this up, you'll see that there's a camera track. If I cycle through the camera track, it jumps to the views that I defined. Under Window, I'm going to adjust my render size to 1920 by 1080. You'll see that this matches 
exactly the view that we had inside of Alias. Now that we've adjusted the materials, let's hit Render and open it in Photoshop. I've opened both of these images into Photoshop. I have my Alias image and my VRED image. To show you that these are the exact same, I will copy everything from one image, paste it into the other, and then move it so it snaps into the position. You can see that the alias image is identical, angle, pixel for pixel, right on top of the VRED image. If I choose the blending type down to difference, we can zoom in and really see that these are exactly the same. I hope you found this helpful for working in between alias and VRED. Thanks for watching.